Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best action cameras. Starting at number 5. GoPro Max. If you only want to record standard action camera footage at the best possible quality, the GoPro Hero 12 Black is a better choice. But if you like the sound of being able to reframe videos after they've been shot in 360 degrees and you're looking for great audio quality, then the Max is well worth considering. GoPro's most expensive action camera uses two fisheye lenses to shoot spherical 5.6K video, which you can later crop into standard 2D video using overcapture software. In our review, we found that the six microphone setup records excellent audio if not quite up to the level of GoPro's shotgun mic claims. Our tests also revealed that it doesn't offer the best 2D video quality, due to the need to convert it from a fisheye image and the Max 1440-60p resolution. It can't match standard rivals like the GoPro Hero 11 Black in low-light situations either. But it remains the best waterproof, 360-degree action camera around. Coming at number 4. DJI Osmo Action. Like its predecessor, the Action 4 is designed to compete with the latest GoPro. To that end, it addresses the Action 3's main flaw with a larger 1-slash-1.3-inch sensor. Stills resolution is lower at 10MP, while video residential remains the same at up to 4K-slash-120P. The key difference is pixel size. From our tests, the Action 4 is better at gathering light, faring better than the Hero 12 Black in dim conditions. It also benefits from DJI's D-Log profile with 10-bit color. Based on our review, this dramatically enhances color depth and dynamic range, capturing detailed highlights and cleaner shadows. The downside of the larger sensor and wide 155-degree lens is an increased minimum focus distance, making it harder to shoot up close. Outright performance is also throttled slightly by the microSD memory. Otherwise, features remain mostly the same as the Action 3, already one of our favorite action cameras. It retains the same small but rugged build, removable battery and versatile magnetic mounting system that we liked so much the first time. Waterproofing is boosted to an even more impressive 18M without a case, making it a winner for water sports. At number 3. Insta360 Ace Pro The Insta360 Ace Pro is the first action cam to offer 8K video. That resolution will be overkill for many, as will its 48MP stills, and the high price tag they demand. But if you want rugged 8K recording, the Ace Pro is the way to go. Physically, our review found the Ace Pro nicely built. It's heftier than its competitors, hitting the scales at 179.8G which makes it feel substantial in the hand. We also rate its flip-up display, which hinges at the top to deliver a selfie experience that's more responsive than GoPro and DJI rivals. Mounting options are plentiful, too, with a magnetic base plate for quick switching. As you'd expect of a sensor co-engineered with Leica, image quality is superb. Our tests found results across all resolutions to be excellent, with good clarity, punchy colors and solid noise handling in low light, aided by AI processing. Active HDR does pretty well at balancing high contrast lighting, while flow state and horizon lock stabilization are proven performers. Professional filmmakers might wish for log capture and higher 8K frame rates, but this is still a mighty impressive action camera. Number 2 of my list. Akeso Brave 8. A cheaper, lighter version of the Akeso Brave 8, the light is an affordable action camera for buyers on a budget. In our review, we noted that the cost savings can be felt in the flimsy plastic construction. Yet we also commented positively on its modern design, compact dimensions, and lightweight build. Other takeaways from our testing include the smartphone app, which we found easier to use than the camera's own interface. In ideal lighting, 4K video footage also proved vivid and accurate, if a little high in contrast. That's not the case in lower lighting, where we found that the sensor struggles, with a large amount of noise negatively affecting image quality. Stabilization was disappointing too, with the Brave 8 light failing to smooth out camera shake while walking or cycling. At 150 minutes of 1080p footage, 
battery life wasn't remarkable either. Yet while its video quality won't worry premium flagships, we still think the Brave 8 Lite offers fantastic value, with a solid set of specs that's tough to beat for the price. And number 1. GoPro Hero 12. GoPro's updated flagship isn't a huge departure from the Hero 11 Black, our previous favorite. It uses the same 1-1.9 in sensor to shoot high-res 5.3K video, with an 8 to 9 aspect ratio that's useful for exporting footage for social. Besides a speckled casing, the physical design is pretty much identical too, which means the Hero 12 Black works with the same accessories as many previous editions. It also gains a useful a quarter inch thread mount for mini tripods. Low light remains an Achilles heel, but the addition of HDR video and GP log support gives filmmakers the ability to capture greater dynamic range. Together with the returning 10 bit color mode, we found the Hero 12 Black capable of producing crisp, supremely smooth footage in bright conditions. Battery life from the default Enduro battery did prove mediocre in our review, but Bluetooth audio support is a welcome addition, meaning you don't need a media mod to upgrade the built-in audio. While these modest improvements don't justify switching from the Hero 11 Black, they do make the Hero 12 Black an even more polished, feature-packed action camera. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.